Hey guys, in today's video we're going to be looking at how to change your cut in and cut out settings from the inside of the shape to the outside of the shape or vice versa. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise back in the program here. Now just a quick reminder, this is a mini series on the cut in and cut out feature. And I will also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can actually follow along. Now when it comes to the cut um, inside or outside, like I mentioned, this is for, um, let's say you wanted this shape to be cut out. So you want to use this circle, then you'll be using the cut on the outside. So it will come in from the outside and go out from the outside. But let's say this is a shape you're cutting within a shape, which you actually want to keep that shape of. Then you want to have this cut come from the inside and go out to the inside again. So now in order to change that, we're going to have to make sure our cut in and cut out bar is enabled. So in order to do that, we go to view. And then we want to navigate till we find this cut in and cut out bar. Now, if I had to open it again, you will see it appears here on the bottom left. Now, you can, in many ways, do very similar things to what we normally do if we go to our um, cut in and cut out settings with a few different uh, options. Now, like always, or like normally, make sure you select your actual shape before you try use it, and then. Um, we can set here the uh, output or the input or out cuts and in cuts, but we're not going to worry about most of these things for now. We've got, if you go on the cut in and cut out, you can go back to these settings, which is convenient. But what we're going to be looking at is the draw. So now if we select the draw, automatically, no matter what this one is set to, whether it's cut in or cut out, it's going to use the cut in line. But it will set the other one to the same I uh, can you say inside or outside location. So let's say we want to draw on the inside. Then with this draw selected, I'm going to just left click inside the circle and then left click onto the point or the, the cut in and cut out point. If I select that, you can see now it has changed it to the inside. Now we can simply just obviously go here and then try adjust it if we have to. And then uh, you will notice it jumps it out to the outside again. So it is rather important before you do that, first go here, set all your settings relevant, the arcs, lines, and so forth. And then we go to the draw, go on the inside, and then you can, for instance, let's say um, I did something like this, but you want this one closer to that one, then you just simply go where you think it will look best based on measurement, click there, and then we can have something relevant. And there we have, so we can see with a little arrow, comes from the inside to the outside so uh, but also just keep in mind like I said make sure you set these settings before you make the lines of the inside others will just pop it to the outside again but yeah that is it on the cut in and cut out um, if we had to head here to softwaretraining.co.za you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares to do cover and you can also isolate your search on the top right if you do not, however, find the training videos you're looking for, just simply go here, request a training video, fill in the mini form, then we'll do our best to try and make that for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.